I'm Maya Sharp and I'm the garden coordinator here at Jackson Elementary School and we're in Altadena, California. This is our original garden, which is not enough for our, our 350 kids. So a couple years ago, we started on a venture to make this garden. We had a lot of community support to put this together. We had businesses, local nonprofits, alumni, students and parents and, and faculty, and we all came together to dig and, and put this garden in. This year, we were able to partner with the Garden School Foundation. They chose our site for their seed to table program. So they have provided us with teachers that are trained in this curriculum. Life cycles of both plants and animals. Read. In what season of the year do cantaloupe plants bloom? They learn about where their food comes from, how things grow. Young plants find a young animal. There's just so many applications for for everything that they're learning about. The tallest plant in the pizza bed is basil, green pepper, red pepper, cherry tomatoes, and then... Spring. Everything that the garden is doing ties into what I'm doing in the classroom. We work together, we collaborate, and I'm just happy that I have that extension of the classroom out here in our outdoor classroom. This year, we are transferring over to project-based learning. Um, we are a STEM school, and with Mr. Noah being here, I'm able to extend the projects out to our outdoor classroom, and he's able to support me with what we're doing in the classroom. So it's just a win-win situation. So for us, it's really important that we build upon what they're learning in the classroom and kind of the curriculum requirements here in the garden, while also providing a fun outdoors experience for all the kids and some practical knowledge from the cooking classes and also from the garden stuff. And then we put um, onions. Um, it was cooked in lime because the lime has some sort of some acid that makes it, it cooks it a little. It was pretty good. Last year um, I had a large group and we didn't have a garden teacher helping us so we, we were coming out here and it was all volunteers and teachers running the garden and getting it going which is really cool but it was more difficult to maintain the students and do the activities and be able to bring them out here and have it manageable and it's much more manageable with the with our garden teacher yes. so we applaud yes. that yeah. so all we needed was someone to come in and really utilize the space so that the students could get the most out of it we really need your support to keep our amazing garden program going. We need to raise $5,000. And so this is what we're asking you to help us with. We're already partway there. Um, we're asking for you to help us with the last little bit so that we can keep this great pro garden program going.